Hi, I know, I know. So we've had lots of changes to the to the property. Um, one of them is we lost Sal. Sal has disappeared. We don't know where Sal went. So Harry is over here. And Harry follows me around. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Okay, well, hopefully I'm recording something. Hopefully. It says I'm recording, so we're going to just go with it. So we have Harry. Harry does not have a Sal anymore. All of our chickens have gotten really big. They're growing. They're all grown up now. I have like a gazillion chickens in the garage. Why? We just got meat, birds, um, and turkeys that we'll be putting out on pasture here probably in a couple of weeks just because they're going to get big. But we also have chickens that love to come in here and, and do their business and apparently get in with the chicks. Go on. Out you go. No, out. Come on, out you go. So, now if you can see them, all the chicks. So we have, we currently have 58. We've lost two of them. Um, so, <clears throat> Harry is very protective of the chicks. He gets very unhappy when we make him come outside. So I generally just pick him up and go this direction. And I just put him out through the backyard. No, ma'am. Um, unfortunately, we've also lost Saint. Since the last time we talked, his spleen ruptured. And we, so we've lost him. So it's just Liza now. Little Miss Liza Liza. So we have Liza and we have Harry. We have chickens. Let's go over this way. We have lots of ideas of what we're gonna do with the property. We're really excited. Some big surprises coming up soon. Hopefully everything will work out the way we want it to, but we don't really want to say anything right now, just in case. But there's a little teaser. We've got some exciting stuff coming up and we can't wait to share all of it with you. There's Miss Maggie. Mama's over there by the goats. We'll go see her in just a minute. But these are some of our chickens. I'll have to find our Brahma. We have a Brahma rooster who's huge. There he is. So this is red, big red. This is our main, this is the rooster we've had the longest. He's full grown. Of course he's pecking because he's deciding whether or not he's gonna bite me. So he's full grown, but let me get over here and show you the Brahma because the Brahma is huge. You have to watch Red because Red will come after me. This is another one of our roosters right here. Call him King Lear. It's Miss Maggie. Come here. Oh, come here. We'll have to see if we can find her ball and let you guys see her play with her ball. It's really funny.
take Sam. I'm not getting you. She's starting to lose her winter coat, so she looks a little shaggy. This big guy right here, this big white one, that's our Brahma rooster. He's not full grown. He's, he's not full grown. He's still got quite a ways. Brahmas tend to get to be, they can get to be as tall as three feet tall. I don't have a, a chickshaw big enough for that yet, but we're working on it. You can also see this is where we had our garden last year. So we've moved our garden. We're moving it over next to the house so that we can work it a little better. This is actually still gonna be part of the garden. We're gonna put all of our ground cover here, like our gourds, our zucchini, our pumpkin, our watermelon, our, um, we're gonna put our corn over here, obviously covered by a fence because otherwise mama will eat the, will eat all the corn. Well, the chickens will too, so we have to be very careful. There's mama, hi mama. Hi, baby. Here are Clyde and Bonnie. Look at how big they've gotten. They've gotten so big, they're both full grown now. So we're hoping to be breeding Bonnie here. Sometime, well, they don't go into heat until the fall, so we're hoping to breed her in the fall. I don't know if we're going to, hi, I don't know if we're going to actually get a buck and bring him here or if we're just gonna go take her someplace and and have her breed that way I don't know that we're set up to to take on a buck because you have to separate them can't just leave them in here all the time so <clears throat> I don't know that that's a good idea hi you can't have it I really hope I'm recording. It's counting, so hopefully something's being recorded. Hi, what? Are you gonna go play? Go play, go get it, go get it. Ready, are you ready? Go get them, go. They really only show off when there's an audience. They're ridiculous, that's what they are. Come on, Maggie, come on. Come here. Yes, come here. Come on. Come here. There we go. You gonna come here? Come on. There we go. Yes. We'll have to get we'll have to get the comb out and start brushing you down, huh? To get rid of all that all that ick on you. Hmm? You come here? Come on. Yes. Come here. Come on. Hmm. Yes. Now that it's starting to get more green out, you can see it's really green here. So they've got a lot of, of grass to graze from. So they just kind of wander the property for right now. We'll be setting up different areas for them to, to graze in. Probably here this summer. Again, we've got lots of exciting things going on. Coming up, hopefully everything works out the way we want it to. We'll We'll be videotaping like always because, you know, when when we videotape, then if something doesn't work out, then you guys can see that, wow, that didn't work at all. So, Resnick. We harvested Resnick on January 3rd, I think. Um, we went way too long to wait to harvest him. So we learned a lot in that process, just as we learned a lot in the process when we harvested our first batch of meat chickens. Chickens. So <clears throat> the second batch of meat chickens should be ready mm, second weekend or so in May. These are our new sows. We're gonna be breeding them. So this one with the stripe, this one's Wilma. She is, she is definitely the more vocal of all of them. And then the pink one, who's got a sunburn, she's named Maple because she literally smells like maple syrup. I don't understand it. I don't understand how it works. It's so weird, but she smells like maple syrup. She needs to get out of the sun though. 
We've turned our meat shaw into a pig cover for right now. We'll be, the plan is to artificially inseminate these girls, which I guess only has about a 75% chance of working, which I think is better than trying to, you're gonna get zapped, don't do it, is better than trying to get a boar in here and, and then be able to keep up with the boar. So we just moved them to this area. They've got about a half an acre. They're not quite sure what to do with all of this area. So they're being a little, a little slow in getting, getting it rooted up. The area where I had the garden at, that's that, the rooting of, up of all of that, that's all them. And then you see the big red, the big red one with the floppy ears. That's Red Rock. She's a Duroc mixture. She's a Duroc mixture. Maple is a Blue Butt mixture. And Wilma is a Hampshire mixture. So we're not trying to breed these sows to show. We're just trying to breed the sows so that we have some piglets. We can sell off the piglets. And then we can raise some of our own so that we also have, you know, meat. We have, we have pork on the farm. So that's the plan with them. But right now the plan is to, is to just, is to just keep them, keep them fed and happy. Wait till they come into heat. And then hopefully middle of May, first part of June is the plan for when we're wanting, wanting to start doing the artificial insemination. So that will be um, uh, something that will be a, it'll be a something. As you can see, Harry follows me everywhere. I left the front, I left the kitchen door open the other day and he managed to get into the backyard and he came into the house. That was very exciting because he did not want to leave the house. And he likes coming in the backyard, but we can't really have him in the backyard because he, he, <clears throat> he pecks at Liza when she tries to come out the doggy door, he like pecks her in the head. So we can't leave him in the backyard for any sort of extended period of time because that's, that's what happens. Hi, Miss Maggie. You gonna come here? You gonna come here? Come on. Yeah. Pretty girl. You're okay. So I am glad that you guys were able to come with us today. I apologize for us being away for so long. You know, sometimes life just happens. And so I apologize for the long uh, interruption, but we're back and planning on doing 30 days of April. So plan is a video every day. And I hope that you guys are able to come with us. I hope that everybody's been safe and that you have been able to grow in your homesteading journey and that you've been able to learn all sorts of new stuff. 2020 and 2021 have been a little crazy and I hope that, you know, you guys have been able to be okay. So Please forgive us for being gone for so long. I apologize because we've had lots of changes, lots of losses, unfortunately. And I'm sorry that we weren't able to, to show you guys everything that has been going on. But, you know, sometimes you just got to deal with life. And so, but we're back. We're back and I'm glad that you're here with us. And I hope that you'll continue to join us 30 days of April, every day a new video. And I, I'm praying for all of you that everybody's good, you're growing, you're learning, and that 2021 turns out to be an amazing year for all of us. So God bless and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.